Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Paris. We are back in this city, and I have to say, you guys, we are at the final leg of the fashion week. So last night, I was in Milan doing, like, a sustainable fashion awards. It was really beautiful at La Scala, and it really, really late night. I started the morning at 5.30 a.m., catching the flight, arriving in Paris. It's 2.30 now, and we're going to start very soon with the fittings, so I wanted to bring you guys with me. But before we start this Paris Fashion Week vlog, I wanted to say something very important, at least very important to me. I am so, so grateful to you guys for the incredible support on our New York, London and Milan fashion weeks honestly first of all i'm trying to keep up with you guys on instagram like the comments the dms you have been so kind with love and support but besides that also with all the incredible love on youtube like my youtube community as you guys know i always say it is like my favorite community and i've been even actually uploading tiktoks daily which is kind of crazy to even think so i've been uploading several posts on instagram a day numerous stories tiktok per day and youtube we're trying to do as kind of real time as physically possible so just wanted to say thank you thank you thank you for all the love and all the support and the first thing on our schedule for this paris fashion week is going to be louis vuitton fitting we're going to get fitted for the show to pick an outfit or maybe even two because we have a few louis vuitton events this week i also have numerous shows how many shows have we got this week 10 12 15 many okay some days will be harder than the others but there's a lot of fun stuff and i cannot wait to take you guys with me Okay hey guys, trying on few looks. This is the look number one. Look at this detailing. It's kind of like architectural, like beautiful. And then there's all of this embroidery that just looks insane. So special. I think this is like a very, very special event dress. So that's the kind of option number one. We'll probably go for these gorgeous sandals. I actually really like these and they look quite like minimalist, comfy. So let's see what we have here. I'm just gonna try basically put them on, just lean them on to understand. This could be very cute. But then I would love to have a petit mal, but then the gold, Silver. does it clash? Yeah, something like this maybe. That's like potential. Should I try the other outfit? I have to, I have to, because this is my time to play. guys i forgot the hair tie so i used this makeup brush to hold my hair while i was in the shower and i'm hoping this green juice is gonna give me all the energy that i need for tonight considering the early morning wake up but we're in like such a beautiful and cozy and comfy suite we're staying at the park hyatt this time guys i love the location it's plus one dome it's really really cute first of all look at these flowers they're so gorgeous and stunning love them and then i have some really nice surprises on the table as well some energy balls fruits champagne i think chocolate it, everything I love. There's a clothing rack with pretty much everything we need. Well, no, this is not even a third, I think, of what I packed, but like things that we need. Uh, there's another clothing rack here in the bedroom. This is where I showered. I have two bathrooms. We're still organizing all the process here, like kind of samples. I have my Hermes look already and several different things, but now I have to quickly change because we're going for Louis Vuitton special book signing, I believe by Francesca Amphitheatrov. She is the creative director of high jewelry for Louis Vuitton. So let's go. We don't normally walk a lot, I have to say, in Paris for so many different reasons. One of them being safety, I guess. But it's a beautiful day. I really missed being in Paris. It's been so long. We're currently in Place Vendôme. It's a gorgeous day. And we have literally like 10 steps to make to get to the Louis Vuitton boutique on Place Vendôme. I'm wearing a total black outfit. These are Saint Laurent jeans, Bottega heels, Louis Vuitton jacket. I don't even have a bag because we haven't really gotten to unpack everything just yet. I only got my phone, very low key, I think at least. But yeah, that's the kind of whole point. So many people outside here, I guess they're waiting for someone very famous. That is the kind of whole beauty of Paris Fashion Week, you know. And that's it, next stop, which is just across the road is Louis Vuitton. Francesca, how are you? I'm good. How are 
over here. Very nice to see you. Thank you very much. I love the blossom collection, the ring you wear. Oh, thanks. So These are them. I love the pink you These are so, so cute. So cute. I love it. That's like the little diamond peak. Gorgeous. Fruit. I know. It's been very successful. It's kind of sold out. I'm we sure. have to get more. Good morning guys, it's a new day in Paris and I woke up, I'm having a coffee. We had like a few situations with the rail throughout the night, we need to reorganize the room so the wardrobe situation is a little bit more organized. Today's kind of like a big shooting day with the team. I have a fitting in 13 minutes at Valentino but it's very close by and after that I have a Zoom call and then we have like a lot of shooting to do. So that's kind of the plan, first coffee of the day. Like I said, I'm like going through some content and finishing up wrapping up all the milan fashion week stuff i had so much content to post because like some of the shows like some days i had five shows per day so i couldn't post five posts per day so i'm kind of wrapping that up and we're gonna go to pick a look for valentina show for which i'm very very excited so let's get going and let's go to valentino guys it seems that paris makes me wear all black as you can see i'm wearing my leather kate pants somewhere on top um prada shoes bag from the row and we are arriving this incredible building look at this every time i'm arriving here i feel so special so different to anything else I've worn so it's gonna really stand out love it except that obviously this is small this is supposed to be a body I didn't even try to close it I haven't worn anything sparkly in quite a while the problem is that in this mirror everything looks so great like look at this mirror Vlada. my legs oh, look wow. like they're two meter tall and it doesn't look like this in real life but wow. okay you feel more. Yes, film here. <laughs> this is the vibe, okay? This is what we think of the fittings. And then in real life, when I get dressed for the show, I'm always like, it didn't look like this last time I tried it on. Okay, guys, Paul is back. Hi, guys, what's up? That actually could be quite <laughs> funny for her. For her, like an intro. Yeah. Hi guys, Hi. what's up? We just got like a very soft, cute way while I was updating my blog. If you're not reading my blog, you should be. And Paul did this like glamorous, beautiful, yeah, fresh, okay. soft way for the night for my Chomet party. I love it. And you said my hair color is beautiful. It's beautiful. Shout out That's to right Louis out. who did the beautiful hair. You'll touch it up a little bit as well. Thank you, Paul. You're very welcome. Today is a crazy day. We're just creating lots of content for jobs because basically throughout Paris Fashion Week we have a lot of stuff to create so we decided to use today when we just had like few little things like few meetings I was in basically zoom calls today and handling stuff and we need to reorganize the whole room and we have like very important event tonight with Chomet for which my assistant just went to collect the jewelry and I received actually I didn't receive I bought some products so that's what's on bed right now let me show you what I got at Biologic Research Emulsion VIP 2 for body I got regenerating and protecting botanical oil treatment for body and hair i got this lotion p50 for hair i have no idea what to expect deodorant that's not very exciting i got also creme collagen i got dior rosy go low blush in rosewood looks cute well you can't really see what it looks like let me show it to you it looks like this i will link it below it's quite cute i think and also my favorite charlotte tilbury lipstick which i think i'm running out of i wanted to get another one which is runway royalty or something like that sounds kind of cute the name but i got this one which i love 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 very much i will also link it below it's penelope pink anyway we basically are just kind of organizing planning working out calendars schedules posting days planning content reels publishing dates publishing because we have to be on top of our organization game so that is 
the plan of now. My chamois jewels have just arrived. So I'm gonna get them, put them on, get ready, dressed, and we're gonna take some pictures. Several hours later, guys, we did so much work today. I got mint in my mouth. I hope you can't hear it because that could be probably annoying. I'm just in finishing touches on my makeup. As you can see, this is Westman Atelier powder in, it just says Vital Press Skincare Powder. Anyway, we're going for this chamois cocktail. I want to show you my look. The dress code is light with a touch of gold. So I got a touch of gold, these beautiful, Jimmy Choo Seida pumps. I love them so much. I've been wearing them for seasons and seasons and seasons now. This is my dress from the row. I'm actually wearing this dress tomorrow, but we're not showing that part. There's a little embargoed part in this vlog. So you will see it now. And I'm wearing beautiful, beautiful Be My Love Chomet pieces. I love this collection. It's one of my favorite collections from Chomet. It has a beautiful diamond at the end. I don't know if you can see. <sighs> It's beautiful, like a semi-pavé necklace with gorgeous hoops and very, very simple look. But you know, like when you just want to be like chic for the shopping uh, salon in Place Vendôme here, we're going to drive there just because of the jewels and stuff to be safe. I was going to walk, but then, you know, important to kind of take precautions necessary. I'm also wearing my MS Vet Fits Kelly Pochette. This is to be differentiated, by the way, from Mini Kelly. Some people are telling me like that my Mini Kelly looks strange. This is not a Mini Kelly, by the way, guys. This is... A so yeah just so you know and that's that we are gonna take a picture of this outfit and we need to go Good morning, guys. It's a day that needs two coffees. I don't know if you can see, these are both mine, actually. <laughs> but uh, it's gonna be all good, actually. It's not that crazy busy. We have some things today to do. We have a lot of fittings and we have a show, but we will not be vlogging anything from that show, unfortunately. However, as the season progresses, I will tell you what I've learned and what I've seen and you know it's not about me and about the content it's more about the beautiful collection that i'm going to see paul is here as always Hi starting guys. the day with this beautiful face and we are doing something chic kind of parisian cool i then have victoria beckham fitting loeva fitting which is very exciting those two shows i never used to do before so it's the first time that i'm gonna do loeva and victoria beckham exciting oh nice wow. right yeah so cool and then we also have isabel moran fitting that's a usual season's usual so lots of fun things tonight we have a jimmy Choo dinner so today we're gonna have a lot of fun a lot of footage for you guys and you're gonna come with us guys so hair and makeup is ready this is one and only opportunity to see it until the fittings this is what it looks like from the back i don't know if you can see love it anyway i received something very special from Ole Lingad, one of my favorite favorite jewelry brands you guys know how much i love my elephant pendant i will link it below for you guys to see it for some who might not know it or like one as well for my sister because I love it. But today I actually received a gift and there is a card. We should open the card first. Let's see what it says. Oh my God, this is so cute. Wow, it's a very, very long note. 2023 is a special year for us. We have been reaching for the stars and we really missed you at our 60th anniversary celebration in June. I was so sad I couldn't make it. You're a very dear friend of us and Charlotte Lingard really wanted you to have this pair of funky star earrings. I'm not gonna read anymore because guys, we need to see what's in here because i also am shooting for the stars <gasps> Okay, look at this. So this is a new shooting stars pair of earrings with like a part that goes below. You can obviously wear it without this addition or width. And they're so beautiful. Wow. I can't wait to wear these during fashion week. You guys will see them. So stay tuned for that. If I can find a link for these below, I'll definitely make sure to link them. And you keep an eye to see what they look like on in this video.
we just finished the fitting at Victoria Beckham and I have to say it was like such a 360 like moment for me for several reasons I have so many things to tell you okay so first thing is when I was at uni I remember Victoria Beckham published a book and it was called that extra half an inch like remember there was this time that she was only wearing high heels I feel like that's changed since then but I always thought like she was so fabulous because everything she touched turned into gold and that's how I feel about her fashion line because the ethos of the brand is just like quality like everything I do has to be quality timeless classic and there's obviously like my look here which you will see on the show day because I didn't want to show it to you it's in here but then I also got a whole bag of beauty products and I also tried the new fragrance I couldn't decide between my like three favorites but I love the Portofino one it was so good and then look at this so they packed Victoria's favorite products for me and I'm like wow the nude lip that she does the skin collab with Agustinus Bader love 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 but besides that I love the dash water, you know, it's like a sparkling water with flavor and I got a personalized one that says Tamara And we just have a moment for this and it's called posh water You see what I mean? And on top of that, I also got a Yeti cup which has Victoria Beckham Spring Summer 24 Paris I mean guys 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 from now on I want my coffee in this, okay? This is epic so we finished Victoria Beckham like her team also I have to say huge thanks so they were so nice incredible so finished Victoria Beckham fitting and we're heading to Isabel Moran fitting Guys, in this 20 minutes car ride, I basically devoured a Poke Bowl. That was my lunch because what's the time? 2.30, I think? Yep. And I am now going to Isabel Moran fitting. So just like a few stories because this vlog is anyway going to be a mammoth of a vlog. And then we're going home to do some other stuff. And then we have Loewe fitting as well today. So I have to go. Guys, I think I changed my outfit 20 times today, but that's another story. We're not gonna go into today. We have to film some stuff. And I am actually heading to Lueve for my first ever Lueve fitting. And the best part of it is that I think Senia is gonna have fitting at the same time. So I hope we're on time. Let's check, let's check. We are on time. So I'll probably see you inside. so much mess everywhere but this is part of who i am you know how messy are you from one to ten i'm so f not messy no like if you come to my hotel room everything is in perfect order what i always clean up very nicely you look like a dirty and messy person not dirty dirty and messy are two different things do i look like a messy person you're a clean messy person i am so not messy come to my hotel now guys it's not true yeah but i would be scared come to my hotel now it will be perfect it's perfect i'm obsessed with order we're getting our live fits for the show Tamara, i am obsessed with order xenia has a black puzzle bag shall i show you what's inside xenia's bag maybe not that wouldn't be nice but she has a black one i think or brown i'm not even sure and i have a burgundy one how cute guys i got all jimmy chewed as you can see in these sparkly seida pumps i love them so much i mean i wore them already they're incredible we're heading across the river so i'm paying was just left cost because I saw so many paparazzi flashes. We're actually heading to the other side of the river to a restaurant called Sugar, where Jimmy Choo is doing a dinner tonight. And I'm wearing a Saint Laurent dress that I think I've shown you recently in one of my hauls. I will link it below. And the road bag, I love this bag. You know, I just, especially now with the whole like situation in Paris, like I don't think it's flashy, it's cute. I love the road bags, they're just amazing. So, anyway, we're heading to Jimmy Choo dinner. Today was like a lot of everything, like the Loewe fit. I don't even know if I vlogged anything, but Xenia and I were doing the fitting together. We stayed for quite a while and it was fun. I picked my outfit. The shoes are like insane. When you see them, you'll be like, wow. So very excited for that. We're starting tomorrow. We have like a few shows and things. And uh, yeah, I think I can say that Paris Fashion Week is getting like quite wild. And I feel quite good. I think it was good to start in this way so that we can kind of slowly but surely get into the race. Guys, I realized I forgot an important component. I was like, I must have forgotten something. Wait, hold on, like a phone. Yeah, what lipstick. Could it be? It must what be could really it be? Important. It must be something. Probably not important if I can't think what it is. <laughs> and then I, when I almost arrived at the, the dinner, Xenia was like, okay, text me when you're down. I was like, down where? And then I realized I forgot to pick her up, which is what I agreed. How is it so even possible? So I told you, thanks for picking me up, beach. 
your little beach. <laughs> and I sent a <laughs> beach emoji. And then I said, what a beachy friend you are with a bikini emoji. <laughs> and then I said, I take public transportation because... I can survive without you. So then I had to turn around, to cross the river back, and I picked her up because word is a word, and my word means everything. So you're not a little beach after all. No, <laughs> just the palm. You're not a beachy On friend. the beach. <laughs> and now we're heading to Jujutsu. Oh, what, you're so nice. What Come shoes on. are you wearing? Well, I don't know. What could it be? Does it say the this brand? This is quite cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, imagine the wrong. Oh, it doesn't say no. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just my dirty soul. <laughs> no, look. Here, it's a Jimmy here. Choo. Cute platform and ties. You look lovely. What are you wearing? Jimmy oh, Choo Sparkly. These. That we had the in Saint Tropez. That went viral. Many viral. Yeah. And you know what? I wanted to ask you what show are you most excited to see this Paris Fashion Week? Um, Loeva, but. I'm also very excited about Louis Vuitton because it's in a different location. That's like very different very cool. than usual. Apparently, but we don't know what that means. We're gonna no, I know. have to wait till the No, I know. Okay, we have to switch off the camera now and get all the tea. Very busy morning. I want to do many different things, to be honest, and had a meeting with my whole team who came from Italy today. So Filippo came as well this morning, which is really great. Now we are starting with the shows. So first show, well, it's not first show because yesterday I went to a show. But anyway, we're going to Givenchy and this is my look. I don't know if you can see, I am loving it. It's very like elevated, sexy, this kind of silk. Oh, I dropped the invite. Hold on. This is the invitation. Look how beautiful. And it's a the same place as last season so this is my look total black i even have like this kind of black cool ring hopefully you can see it and even an ear cuff i think it's really powerful got a pair of sunglasses as well from Givenchy. there's like silk trousers and a blazer like sort of a tuxedo style bag i love the Givenchy collection last season so this is the vibe well i got dressed got ready and we're gonna leave in one minute so that we can do all the stuff we need to do and go to the shop We just finished Givenchy. It was probably one of the most beautiful collections, I have to say. A lot of sort of like kind of continuation from the last show, like the powerful black looks, but then some organza silk, really, really incredible gowns at the end of the collection. Kind of type of jewelry that like you see a lot as well. Currently, cool bags and different pieces, but guys, the like amount of fans that were outside of Givenchy show for like the celebrities that were coming. And usually when it's like a really, really crazy hyped up audience, then it's like for the kind of like, uh, k-pop stars and i don't know who it was but all of a sudden it became crazy and there was like this photographer i just wanted to share this with you because i think it's like funny if you think everything is like so glamorous there were so many people and it was very crowded as we were like leaving the show at one point there was this photographer that was trying to get a picture of the bts star and like she fell but she fell flying in front of me and as she fell in front of me i tripped over her and i didn't have anywhere to fall because she was like all in front of me so I like fell on top of her and then like I quickly got up because I realized there's like a living person under me so I quickly got up and like tried to help her and ask her if she was okay it was just like such a crazy situation so if you think it's glamorous and like all stuff like that I fell today as well we're quite tight with time but we have a Jimmy Choo presentation we're going for the Hari Nuriyev collab so let's go and check it out let's see I want to open it I want the full experience this is my shoe wardrobe ladies and gentlemen wow this is so insane
That was so, so incredible. I mean, when art meets fashion for me, guys, that's always the best. Now we have to run to Louis Vuitton. Quick change. I managed to literally like roll a croque monsieur in my beak because there was like never a moment. We had like one hour in the room, Philippe was here. So I quickly like ordered breakfast because Park Hayat does 24 hour breakfast and it's 7.30 p.m. I know. Anyway, this one is Belmaran look. Got some baggy jeans, sandals to make it a little bit, you know, cool. This very baggy blazer. Look at this top. I think the top is so cool and I'm loving the sparkle. I need to touch up my lipstick because I didn't have time to do that. And we are going to the usual location of the show, which is Palais Royale. Guys, we made it to Palais Royale. This is like a, always an interesting experience for me, at least because I used to live literally that direction a little bit. I think I probably say this in every single one of my vlogs, but you know, you have to understand that it like brings such a special memory to me because it was like a completely different times. I was falling in love with a man that I just met and we were like going every morning for a coffee here and it was like ah oh, it was if i had to choose the three best months of my life ever it would literally be those three months it was magical so there yeah, i'm just sharing something very personal with you guys now we're here for the isabel moran show as you guys know you've kind of seen my outfit have i shown it to you yes i think so uh, a little bit at the hotel the sandals the jeans belt got this like quite cute knit blazer and the bag like total look including the earrings we're gonna go do a photo call now sit down see my friends chat a little bit to them we need to do some interviews. I don't think we've done any at Givenchy, so let's go. Okay, so the question number one is, is Irene good or Irene is not good? Oh my gosh, she's so bad. <laughs> I have both. Irene is good and she can be bad. <gasps> She can be bad. <laughs> tell us, tell us. She can be bad when she has a couple shots of tequila. Oh, so for Yo-Yo's birthday, is she sitting there? She's here. Okay. Well, too bad that Yo-Yo's not here, so we can hold her accountable. We're gonna get Yo-Yo drunk though. We're gonna make Yo-Yo is bad. Oh, Yo-Yo is bad. Irene is good. Yeah. Molly, you cut your hair. Yeah, the new hairstyle. I like it. It suits you. I like you too. Thank you. Are you bad? <laughs> or your fiance is bad. bad. Tamara is bad. Tamara is always bad. Oh! <laughs> At least I'd like people to believe that, you know? Because then I think it's so much better for you. Oh. If people think you're bad, they are less likely to kind of take advantage. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Guys, home sweet home. Isabel Moran was really lovely. Palais Real, same kind of like a boho vibe. I actually really liked like few of dresses towards the end of the fashion show. It was like always great music. And afterwards, Isabel throws an incredible after party at Palais Royale. We also stopped by the road event, which took place like Hailey Bieber was hosting this kind of like party. So we stopped by for a little bit. I was with my friends. I saw a lot of people I know. So that was really nice. And I was like 10 to 11. I'm gonna remove my makeup, have shower, get into bed because my makeup artist, uh, my makeup artist, <laughs> my hairdresser, Paul, is coming at 8 a.m. So the plan is, because tomorrow is my first Loewe show ever, the plan is to actually go to bed, post everything I need to post, TikTok and Instagram and Insta stories, and then have like at least seven hours sleep if possible. So I'll see you tomorrow.
Good morning guys, we're jumping in the car. Let's see. Woo! It's gonna be a long car journey, which actually I don't mind at all because I have lots of stuff to do this morning. We're on our way to the Loewe show. It's my first ever Loewe show. I was just saying it for the TikTok. Woo! The glasses are so freaking cool. Now we have to go because it's really far and we don't want to be late. been like at least half an hour or even more that we're driving i wanted to show you the loewe invite it's so fabulous it has this kind of like a silver almost a little bit like scratched and worn leather sleeve and then inside is kind of like a mirror situation which is quite useful because now i need to touch up my lipstick it just says my name and everything is like engraved into this mirror i don't know if you can see it but it's really cool the show location is really really far so we managed to breathe and the debrief and kind of like I could discuss what we're gonna be shooting when we get there what kind of content we want to have for Leve and then afterwards we are going to head back to the hotel to change because we have like three shows today which I think is more than enough to be honest I have three shows and one meeting and yeah I'm trying to post everything like on time so yeah I'm also trying to get Filippo to have a little Hermes appointment because I think I'm all out of appointments but Filippo isn't so the only question is should I keep it for Christmas or should I have it now you know what I mean but I always feel that at the end of fashion month I deserve a little treat because it's always very very intense we made it to the venue it's really really far but it's so worth it because look at this castle such a beautiful beautiful location i cannot wait to see what jonathan anderson has prepared for us now you can see better my outfit as well i've got this denim skirt i've got the anagram blouse on which is like really deconstructed cool there's like super puffy sunglasses i got the brush heel sandals and the squeeze bag now let's go guys let's see the venue a little bit okay so this over here the sculpture is something that kind of resembles a little bit of what we have seen on the invitation very cool sort of mermaidy shapes i'm not really sure i'm very excited to see the loewe collection this is a dream you guys my friends are a little bit late but i don't even blame them this location is pretty far let's see who's arrived shall we test ami's italian today oh, okay ami see si. how do you order a coffee in Italian? Un caffè. Silvio, por favore. <laughs> por favore. <laughs> she was like, right, Agogo? Yes. I mean, yeah. Per favore. Per favore. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it. Packing my bag, putting glasses on, a touch of fragrance. I really loved the Victoria Beckham one called Portofino. I don't know if it's out yet. We'll have to find out. And I also really like of the beauty products. I really love this highlight stick. I think it's so sexy because it's kind of like, I can put it a bit on my collarbones. So beautiful. And here in the middle, just a touch to look a bit glowy, but not too much, you know? We like the chic, elevated look. This is the vibe, okay? And the male voice that you can hear is Filippo because, you know, she doesn't care if we're filming or not. Let's go give Filippo a kiss and let's go to the show. Do I get a little kiss? What is this? Non voglio. No. Baby, bye. I have two more shows today and then I see you for dinner. Do you like my new cross? Yeah? Quite cool, no? Right? You want to make it shorter, a little bit? No, I think I love it like this. I feel so cool like Filippo. This is my look and I have a really cool pair of sunglasses. Here they are. How's the look? How would you rate it, Filippo, from 1 to 10? Okay, rating time. 1 to 10 rating by Filippo. At the position number 1, sunglasses. Beyond cool. Yeah? The piece of the outfit is the sunglasses. Really? Piece number 2 for me is the shirt. Really? I would say the denim. No, no. Denim is okay. I love the shirt and, of course, uh, the necklace. So so number two is the necklace, number three is the shirt, number four is the shoes, Yeah. number five is the bag, number six is the, the denim. Pants. Well, we have different opinions and that's okay, well, that's why What's we yours? love each other. Number one, I love the sunglasses, I have them as well so in a different, like love two? it, jeans, because okay. I love them. Number yeah. three, the shirt. Can you turn around, let me see the jeans? Like, okay. you know, it's yeah, one of those cool. that you look like you're very you cool. flat, you're nothing. Right. I didn't see the back yeah. Because I thought there were stripes. No, baby, no stripes. Look, they're like two different denim. Okay. It's like really so cool. Number one, sunglasses. Number two, denim. Number mm -hmm. three, uh, necklace. Number four, shirt. Number five, shoes. Okay. Number six, bag. Okay. Yeah. Cool, I'm, I'm good with that. Paul did my hair, you guys seen it and it like perfectly works with this look. I think it looks great, very chic. We're going to Victoria Beckham, then to Alessandro Rich and then dinner with my favorite person on our anniversary, by the way. Who, uh, me? Yeah, did you know it's our anniversary? When? Today. No. Where's the gift? <laughs> Baby, I always have one member that asks that. Baby, Baby it's our anniversary when? of the first date, no? No. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's our Happy first. Baby. What do you mean? Huh? Huh? What? What? Happy anniversary. Baby, come on. Why, Baby. Do you think, why do you think I organized a dinner tonight? Baby, it's three years and seven months since our first date and we're going to the place where really? we had the first date. Guys, Victoria Beckham show was spectacular. I loved the jumpsuits. I don't know, like there were some looks that I was just really thinking. There was this beautiful gray gown that I love. Kendall Jenner walked to the show. Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner came to watch her. They were, I think, 50 minutes late, which meant that we had to run to Alessandro Rich and we're just about to make it. It's 7.07. .07. The show's supposed to start at seven, but because Victoria Beckham was so late, so in the end, everybody is running now. I am loving these Victoria Beckham glasses, you guys. I am keeping them because I think they're so fabulous and i think i'm gonna also wear them to alessandro rich i'm wearing my vintage chanel because i think that's really alessandro rich vibes you will see the look as we come out we're in, in a little bit of fashion week traffic but that's okay you know it's normal also i don't know if you managed to see but at the show i got my favorite fragrance i tried all three at the showroom and i really loved portofino so victoria beckham beauty launched three different fragrances there's san isidro drive there is sweet 302 and then there is the Portofino one which is supposed to be um, sort of like reminiscent of her summers with David in Portofino. A new infatuation, secret escape, the seductive scent of desire Victoria Beckham evokes the enrapturing fragrance of bourgeoisie romance really beautiful. Through the memory of Portofino 97. What I love about it is that it has some amber in it if I remember well. Yeah it's amber patchouli vetiver beautiful fragrance really unique. 
love it portofino 97 changed into alessandro rich i got my also ysl heels don't know if you can see them and we are currently arriving at the show Sarah, how's your YouTube channel going? Do you know what? It's going really well. Yeah. Growth is slow but steady. Okay. Much but better. It's okay because I'm new to this, but I'm really enjoying it. So guys, give me a follow. Yes. I will, well, as always, we always leave you a little handle so you can find her on YouTube. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Also, what I don't do and Sarah does really well, she cooks. I cook. I love to cook. But sadly, during fashion month, we haven't cooked once. In fact, we don't even eat. No, we do. Yeah, okay. I, I choose dinners over parties anytime. Yeah? Yeah. Same. I don't go to any parties. Yeah, me neither. We're such grandmas. Grandma! As okay. you can tell. I love it. <laughs> but she grandma. I would like to ask Bash, what is his favorite dish that you cook? You know, it's a, a pesto pasta. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. She makes a really, really good pesto. Yeah. Sarah, you're such a good wifey to be. Oh, thank you. Such a simple one. But I like it. I like she got that. offended, guys. She got offended. No idea, I did. They're going to talk about it later. We're going to argue and about it later. Yeah? Uh, I love you. Anyway. So we are here at Alessandro Ridge, we're actually in a church. We're waiting for everybody to arrive. It's a really beautiful location. The beautiful is location, we will show it to you later. And this is the glam. We're very like, you know, we look like Hayley and Justin Bieber, like we're going to two different parties. Exactly. Actually, you guys look like Hayley and Justin. <laughs> I'm going to the, the rich party and you're going to the rave. Rave. Yeah. Love it. But a cool rave, a cool rave. Well, anyway. The show's about to start. Hey guys, another day is over. I just took off my heels, but not for long because Philippe just told me I got back home just on time because we're heading out for dinner. I'm not that far though. So I'm gonna change my look. So I'm not in this because this is not mine. It's a sample. This is my rail, <laughs> something mine. And we're heading to Hotel Cost for a nice cozy dinner for our three years and seven month anniversary, Filippo. That's a joke, of course, but I like to kind of remind Filippo of like the wonderful first date that we had. Anyway, this is it. I'm going to choose now what I'm going to wear and off we go. But I'll wish you good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's a new day. It is day fifth of Paris Fashion Week. Maybe fifth, maybe not. I don't know, guys. At this point, we just know it's like day 23 of Fashion Week without a break, okay? So why am I wearing this Victoria Beckham look again? Well, besides the fact that I really like it, of course, it's also because we're trying to shoot something for Paris Fashion Week, like a little recap reel, which we forgot to shoot yesterday. So I'm not going to be lazy. I put it on again today, this morning, to reshoot shoot i got my first morning coffee it's like 10 40 ish we need to leave in five minutes because we are going for a ralph lauren fitting i am getting fitted for the dinner tonight which is going to be very beautiful i hope it's at ralph's the dinner because it's literally one of my favorite restaurants in paris i love it so much i never took filippo there but it's so good they have great vegetarian and great normal burger in case you like it this is not fashion week content this is lifestyle content but i think it's a very important one and it's literally one of my favorite restaurants in paris so we're going to get fitted we're going to shoot this for the Paris Fashion Week looks recap because I think you guys might like it and yeah that's basically that I actually wanted to tell you guys as well something so last night I posted this AP TikTok about how to pronounce Audemars Piguet and people got so angry with me <laughs> about that that I'm teaching but it was just supposed to be a joke which wasn't perceived properly so people got very 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 upset but actually it's kind of funny because if you know me in person I like to joke a lot well not 
not normally like so much like at work but like usually I like to joke a lot and we're actually making even now a bigger joke out of it so it's kind of either gonna go very bad or very good but I do think it's funny so the Filippo sometimes have my sense of humor is can be a little bit weird but anyway it is what it is you know sometimes like content is like that and I think that's just the way it goes now I'm all ready we're gonna go to the fitting and then today is a very very exciting day we have Hermes show and Elisab show still many things to do so that we can run smoothly for the rest of the day now let's go Ralph fitting done. It was really great. I can't wait for tonight. Also because I told you I love that restaurant. I'll be wearing the new bag that you guys could have seen, I believe, on my Instagram. And the whole look, I'll show you later the look. I think it's really cool but chic. And now we have to go back to the hotel to actually change for Hermes, create some content and head to the show. So come on. Guys, we wanted to stop by here to show you my outfit for the Hermes day. I have filmed it also for TikTok, but I'm wearing my beloved slides. This is a sample look. So I've got the leather pants. This is so soft and gorgeous by Hermes. Hermes knit that I actually also own, but this is a sample, but I have exact same one. I bought it like a few months ago. And then look at this coat. If this is not the most beautiful mix of leather and knitwear, I'm also wearing my Birkin 25, to which I have recently added when I was in New York, this chrome heart kitchen. Chain. and I also have a pair of chrome heart sunglasses love them the hair by Paul today I think is my favorite look look how beautiful this is I hope you can't hear the construction they're just deconstructing something over here so yeah that is the look of the day now we have to really run because I mean when you get invited to a man's show you definitely do not want to be late Guys, quick change in the car. I have no idea how this looks now because I literally changed in like one second after the Hermes show, still in the street there. And I am heading to Elisab. It's quite far. It's like 35 minutes from Hermes to Elisab. Let me see in which area is the location. And in the meanwhile, we're doing like so many things. Uh, okay, it's at Palais de Tokyo. Okay, so yeah, we're heading to Palais de Tokyo now. And basically, a long story short, ladies and gentlemen, I'm starving. So yet to properly eat something today it's 3 39 i had porridge this morning i just feel like a pizza right now that's the deal my elisab look is really really pretty i love it it's a beautiful black jumpsuit so kind of from one black outfit to another black outfit the first black outfit is attacking me it's full of hay and some sort of i don't even know what i couldn't really vlog inside of the hermes venue because guys there was so much i'll insert some pictures there was so much hay so much everything that there was like nowhere you could stand to see something thing it was like a lot of garden situation which is beautiful to see but a pity for content because it is what it is never mind we're going on to the next one so we'll update you from elisab We're here at the Elisab Spring Summer 24. Don't watch. You don't, but I think it's okay, it's baby. It's okay. I, I approve uh, <laughs> this uh, diamond uh, calf situation. Yeah, it's very, very good. You look fabulous. Thank so, you. Guys, you eventually she cut off the fringe, and we really, really love it. Thank you. What inspired you to cut the fringe? I wanted a change. Yeah. What? Why? <laughs> why? Everything seems so perfect. You look beautiful. You're hot. You're successful. Oh. You're stylish. Thank you so much. That's so true. Thank you, baby. So you just wanted I just like wanted a change, like a new thing in my life. Do you recommend it? Cutting fringe. Uh, I mean, it's very difficult to maintain it. Yeah. yeah. And you need to keep up with it every day. So yeah, if you can afford the time to do it, yeah, do it. Okay. Yeah. What is the next thing you're gonna buy? Shopping, shopping, shopping. I know my shopping queen. That's 
Not a difficult question. <laughs> I want a symbol, Chanel, black, patent, black. A Kelly? Chanel Kelly? Chanel, a small one. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, have you seen the Chanel Kelly? No. Okay, I'll show it to you now. Wait, we need to show you. We need to show Evangeline Chanel <laughs> Kelly to see what she thinks. So this is like the new Chanel. Chanel Kelly? Oh, interesting. Let's see what she thinks. And we'll insert the picture. So it's this. Oh, it's cute. But it's the new bag. Well, it's the old new bag. They've just re-brought it back. It's really cute. It's really, really cute. Yeah? It's now in the shops, available? Yep, okay. in pink and black. And I'm going to and Chanel on Monday in pink and black. Let's go together. <laughs> Okay. Distraction. <laughs> Shopping. Yes. Okay. Guys. I need to show you now. Yes. Paro just told me that. Can I no. say it? No. This is so good. No. Because it no. shows how nice of a person you are. You said something really nice about someone and they didn't say something nice about you. Yeah, I know. I know. You know when, when you somebody's like, oh, do you know this guy? And I was like, yeah, he's so nice. I love him. He was like, oh, he just talked really bad about you. And I was like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. um, I mean, no comment. This is not okay. Anyway, we're we're learning about some fresh fashion week gossip. Guys, I had unexpected guests because I actually don't know why. We're just really annoying. The thing is, I was like reviewing the YouTube video that you guys already watched that went live on Sunday and all of a sudden like a dog just jumped in my bed. Ruby! 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 want to come. Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't want to be... Ruby! Look at this! Look at this! What is this? Yes! Is yes! This? You think Ruby? it's a little Tell the camera what you did. Tell them what you did. Tell them what you did. Ru there's the camera. Yes, you need tell to tell them. Tell them what you did. Yes. Very naughty. Naughty. Naughty girl. Rue jumped in my bed. She got very excited and she peed from excitement. But I feel so privileged because normally she only pees when she sees Filippo. Yeah, it happens very, very rarely that she I pees over excitement. I would never be mad at you, Rudy. So pee of honor. Never. I would pee of never honor. be mad at you. It's drops of honor. Oh my God, I love you so much. Imagine you are so excited you cannot contain yourself. <laughs> Like, that level of excitement is That's, unreal. I understand. Uzi, it's unreal. I understand. I understand. But still anyway, disgusting. So. She never does that, by the way. For the record, she never does that. I'm going to dinner. Xenia is going to her dinner. So we're going to two different dinners, which is very annoying. I want to rate your and outfit. And she wants to rate my outfit, but this is the outfit for now. But I don't have a pen. Do you have a pen? Mm. Xenia rates my robe. Okay. But you cannot see it, okay? okay. You have to guess. You have I to guess what I say. A... No, no, no. You cannot okay. say because... Okay. Now we can see if we're actually connected, okay? okay? This is my rating. I think... Mm, let me think. Okay. She's looking at the mirror. You're such a <laughs> mother... <laughs> you are a cheater. <laughs> you are a cheater. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> I, just want to, I just wanted to be connected with you really badly. <laughs> I think you gave me a seven. Because you saw it on no. the mirror. <laughs> Filippo, yeah, but I got, swear, yeah, Xenia, I swear I didn't see it. But why did you laugh so hard? Yeah. Because I was trying to see, but I couldn't see from the orchid. Because the orchid is there, so I wanted to like sit down to see it. Anyway, it's not seven. And then Filippo, it's not seven. No. It is. Ah! <laughs> so we are connected. We are very connected. Maybe. Maybe it was in between seven, eight, and nine. Is that right? No, no it could have been like one or zero. I wanted first to write two, but then I thought it's actually a nice rope. I should give it more credit. Filippo, I think I'm running late, but you guys can stay here. <laughs> the reason why I don't want to have Filippo around me at Fashion Week is because I really want to have him around all the time. And then when my friends and Filippo are around, I don't want to go and do anything. <sighs> I don't want to do any shows. So why you didn't let me go? Home. I don't really like it when you're here. Yeah, because you just like when I'm in bed. No, 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 no. Yeah, I could have been home, and I'm no. happy that I'm here. No. But uh, the thing is, what I wanted to say, very that I think is very important for me, like having a pet around. I would never do any work if you were always around because it's so nice to have you. So I'm a pet. <laughs> That's what you say. Go, come on, you late. No, baby, your hair is now definitely longer than mine. You know that. Right. I know.
I will cut them when I come back on the third. So nice, actually. Okay, guys, my look for Ralph Lauren is here. So this is the outfit. You've seen it already today. I just need a touch of lipstick. I might, I'll see what I'll do. The bag that you guys have seen all over my Instagram, I will actually link this one below because I have it all organized for you in the description box. I think it's quite a cute one. And that's the vibe for tonight. Now let's go to Ralph's. Good morning, my YouTube fam. Hope you guys are doing great. I am doing great because I only have three full days of fashion week left. And I know that sounds very ungrateful. I'm sorry for that. But it's like saying on Wednesday that you're looking forward to weekend being in two days. It's not like we're ungrateful for the job. It's just that we're also looking forward a little bit to the rest. Can we agree on that? However, I'm in very high spirits. Got my second coffee of the day, which is so good. I'm finishing it now. It's basically instead of breakfast because this morning was a bit hectic i had paul come do my hair as you can see i didn't ha get a chance to do my makeup so this is the bare face and we're going to stella mccartney fitting we kind of left it a little bit late just because we had so many other things to do and today is a pretty chill day because we only have a valentino show it's a sunday sunday is usually for a lot of people who don't actually do valentino it's kind of like almost like day off for me i have valentino show dinner and the party and i'm very much looking forward to that because my look is insane i feel like i always break internet with my Valentino looks somehow like on TikTok it always goes viral but anyway that's another story what can I tell you it's sunny and gorgeous in Paris and we are heading to the fitting then I have like also two presentations to do today that we need gonna kind of try and play by ear how we're gonna do it if we're gonna vlog it etc I'm wearing this new Saint Laurent top that you have seen in the last video I will link it below this the row bag that I was wearing literally like every single day pretty much of Paris Fashion Week as well as these Kate leather trousers and Bottega heels but also new favorite sunglasses these victoria beckham ones how gorgeous right now yeah that's basically it you know everything so we have still got monday and half a tuesday well it's really whole of a tuesday because it's like a big show it's packing it's sorting things out it's finishing content that we need to shoot still so we still have like after today two more days of fashion week and then we're going home to Valentino I haven't actually vlogged much from the room so today is like car day basically unfortunately sorry however I filmed the get ready with me TikTok and it's honestly this look and it'll be on YouTube shorts as well this look I do I say this every season I think Valentino is like my brand I really feel it's such a beautiful beautiful brand this micro bag that doesn't fit anything but my mints are inside I do have like another bag where I keep everything else just you know necessities and phone and stuff like that I'm loving this the time the shirt the dress that you will see better when we're out we're gonna try and like show you everything we had to run to the show so i didn't really get a chance to show you way more but i will show you more after the show because i think this this outfit deserves a vlog on its own basically i love it i love it love it love it i love this i love the shoes love everything and it's such a cute vibe so on our way to valentino i have no idea what we're gonna see i just know there's gonna be like a lot of celebrities it's a new location it's in the seventh i believe anyway it's across the river paris is yeah i've already said that to you today so so excited actually this is the like first show i think this season that i'm feeling a little bit like extra excitement for i'm really loving my look so that always helps now let's go to valentino Okay guys, this is my look. I am loving it. I hope it didn't get creased or something in the car because, well, you never know. We ended up walking for the last. As you can see, the traffic is still, but there's like three or four minute walk, which is okay because these heels are actually quite comfortable. So I 
Now we have all sorts of environments arriving to the show. It's around three, four minute walk until we actually get to the kind of craziness. We had to jump out of the car because I get very anxious if I'm sitting and the traffic is not moving and I know I have to be somewhere and I don't see the situation getting better. But the time keeps passing and you keep seeing like it's five minutes later, 10 minutes later. So anyway, Vlad is telling me that there's Paris Hilton across the street. She's also arriving at the show. I actually haven't managed to film much during the Valentino show. It was like 57 degrees inside, which I'm not complaining about because it was so beautiful to be in this school. And the collection was, first of all, there was a performance in the middle of the runway and the performance was, I normally, I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of performances at the fashion show. It's because I think it takes away from the fashion, but this was incredible. The performance was really, really, really like amazing. And I really love my look so much that I kind of want to wear it every single day. I love the tie, the dress, the micro, micro, micro bag. Look at the shoes, comfy, gorgeous. And yeah, that's the look. Paul did really, really cute hair, as you can see. Let me know what you think. How would you rate this Valentino look? so far of all of my Valentino looks. I love the colors, I love the vibe, I love everything. So now we're actually heading to the next event, which is going to be You Beauty Tina's event. And I'm going to support a friend. And then I have Valentino dinner and the cocktail. But first things first, as you guys know, have like few things to do. We're gonna create a reel for Valentino, so we have to go work. Guys, I am recycling outfits like there's no other. Just kidding. I mean, kind of kidding, kind of not kidding. I'm, I'm in the same outfit as I was today at the show. The thing is, though, we came back home. We went through all the content that we still have to do t tomorrow and the day after. The day after, I'm leaving, as you guys know already. But right now, I'm on my way to the Valentino dinner and the party. The thing is, though, I this is the only Valentino look that I have from the fitting. And I really love it that much that I was like so happy to wear it also in the evening, which I think is so cute. I we also filmed like a really incredible reel or actually two for Valentino I mean like it was one thing that I have to say is if you fail to prepare prepare to fail and like for Paris Fashion Week we really prepared so we were like we want to shoot this for Valentino this for Loewe this for Victoria Beckham this for Hermes this for Vuitton this for Miu Miu like we really went each show by show and look by look and we decided what we're gonna shoot and it kind of worked out so far but now we still have kind of day and a half left but a lot to shoot so so it's a bit of everything if I may say so however we're kind of like you know working it through so yeah long story short we had a little like kind of meeting regroup back in the hotel then I popped back this outfit on and now we are on our way to Valentino party and the dinner I don't know if I'm gonna vlog much from there because I'm not gonna have my crew with me but I'm gonna try and show you just like a tiny little bit of sneak peek of what's it like and then tomorrow morning we have a very early morning for no one else but Stella McCartney. You know friends that never ask you to do things. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> Literally, she was just saying like, Caroline, you are always ask me to do something when you're available. And I'm like, should I ask you when I'm not available? No, I should I should be like something like, oh I have a dinner with Anna Wintour tonight. But, but let's do something. Should I do yes. yes! The next time I'm gonna do this with you. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> 
Good morning guys, welcome to one before the last day of our session week. Paul is here and he always brings so much positive energy. Hi guys, what's up? And not just the positive energy, Paul, you also bring great hairstyles, always, innovative. I mean, now we worked for so many seasons together, I don't know how, but he still brings innovation and new stuff and ideas and great products. And you know what's very important, Paul? That we do so much my hair during fashion week, but it never gets like damaged. Yeah, try my best to keep your hair as healthy as possible. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> We're getting ready for Stella McCartney and then later I'm doing Louis Vuitton. So that's the plan of the day. Okay guys, I think the hair is done, the makeup is done, I just need a touch of lipstick. Let's see what we have in my bag. This is what I need. My Charlotte Tilbury Penelope Pink, touch of this. We're on our way to Stella. I have like a really, really incredible silk, beautiful dress with big shoulder pads. We kind of tried to tailor it with the tailor yesterday, last minute, because there was quite a bit to tailor. You'll see how it kind of like fits on. We tried to adjust some things and add, but it has this beautiful belt detailing on the side. It's really, really cool and we're going to the show now it's always at 10 a.m on monday when you feel a bit like i stayed till 3 a.m last night yeah i know at the valentino party and i don't know why i never normally party it was that one off paris fashion week you know thing but i was with my friends and it was fun and yeah so now we need to well we're actually making it on time so there's no issue we need to do nothing i'm just gonna add a touch of lip liner as well can't wait to see what stella prepared because last season she did those horses and clothes and obviously for stella and her life we know that like horses play a very important important role and I think it's just going to be like a very magical experience as it always is. I honestly don't often wake up like so early for a show at the very very end of the fashion week but for Stella it's a pleasure. guys this morning there's a sort of a market situation look at this wow obviously you guys know that Stella is very well known for like her sort of efforts in changing a lot of the things in the fashion industry for not using leather for kind of being very focused on ecology and we have a lot of that here today the ocean bottle and there's also a bit of an Eiffel Tower view as well at the end of the runway They told me to sit down, we were having a little walk in the market But now it's time to sit down even though I'm the first one pretty much of my row to sit Actually quite comfy and beautiful in Paris I'm just thinking like there's people on windows looking at what's going on Which must be quite cool if this is happening in your neighborhood You don't even need to be invited, you're at the show anyway Ah, this look! Kid Blanche Okay guys, I have like a really funny story with Kate Blanchett. Once I met her at the Chanel boutique, we had the full on conversation about shoes and I didn't even realize it was her. I just realized it was this really beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous and incredibly poised woman with such stunning energy and mannerism. And after we had this conversation about the shoes and I told her which shoes she should buy, at the end, I was coming home on a train and I saw a newspaper, her picture, and that Kate Blanchett was in London, in town. And that's when I realized, oh my God. Incredible. Guys, 
guys, we are en route to Louis Vuitton Spring Summer 24 show. It's gonna be in a completely different location, which is very exciting because I don't know if you guys know, but normally Louis Vuitton is at like the Louvre or the Musée d'Orsay or like it's always kind of like very. You know, we've kind of been there before, right? When it's ready to wear. But this time it's on Champs Elysees and it's in there. Like from what I understood, it's in the new boutique or of some sort. So it's gonna be like a very small, intimate show for the friends of the brand and ambassadors etc press and buyers is gonna be very exciting and I cannot wait to see what Nicolas Jesquies prepared for us I got like a more of like a quiet luxury Louis Vuitton version of an outfit I'll show it to you I'm loving the dress I got look at this guys the petit mal I love it so much in beautiful like black with gold hardware I even got some earrings from Vuitton and I got these glasses as well that I got from the cruise show when we went to the Isola Bella in Lago Maggiore. We're now kind of trying to find the best route to not get stuck in traffic on the way there. So we're on a bit of a mission. Now, let's go. Someone you've never met before on this YouTube channel. Are they sick of me yet? No, never, 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 never. How could I ever be sick of another girl's girl? Girls, girls. Always. Well, today Xenia Adon's over here and I will present you what's in our Petit Mal bags. Okay? So, Xenia, show okay. me what is inside of your Petit Mal. I have a lot in my bag. Yeah? One is the sunglasses and they're really cool. Look. Very cool. Is it Vuitton? I love the. I don't understand why I don't have the same. And then... Cute. It actually looks really good on you. I mean, there's nothing that doesn't look good on you. It's a little bit annoying. But, ladies and gentlemen, Who's let me show you what I have in my uh, bag. Yours is so much more I have a lip liner. Oh, I love breakfast. I have two lipsticks because a girl needs to have her options. One is Victoria Beckham Beauty, one is Charlotte Tilbury. I have mints because you sit very close to people and you don't want to be like, you know, after lunch and stuff like that. Then I have my ID and my credit card, but I don't want to show that to you because that could be like, you know, there's weird people on the internet, right, as well. Not my audience. My audience is the best, but other people, you know? And they're watching. And they're watching, exactly. Well, we are at the Louis Vuitton Spring Summer 24 show. What do you here. think we can expect? I think we can expect. Okay, I believe that this season is going to be a little bit more minimal, but you know that Nicolas loves like architectural stuff. He's always so avant-garde and so modern, so ahead of the time that I think we're gonna see like more muted down things, but in an avant-garde way. I think we will see a lot of fun buttons. Ooh. I think you have a secret, like little information, Xenia. Yeah, that was too specific. Okay guys, that was Louis Vuitton show. It was all orange in this gorgeous, huge space that was next to the boutique on Champs-Élysées. I have to say that this was probably my favorite collection of Nicolas Jusquies since I've been going to his shows. It was so beautiful, so romantic, so elevated. I honestly, I don't remember seeing a single LV monogram, which is kind of what I thought, like I predicted that as well. These like white tights, necklaces. It was truly gorgeous. Like he got a standing 
innovation which to get in Paris is not an easy job I have to say it's not very common that a creative director gets a standing ovation despite the fact that people that come are big supporters but also big critics as usually you guys can imagine that so yeah this was quite something special now we have a lot of things to do I have an appointment at Chanel for a little shopping session and then later on I have two different events we're going to a big special reveal of new H&M collaboration and also we are going to Louis Vuitton karaoke night so lots of fun activities for the rest of the day for me and only one more show left of Paris Fashion Week guys you can't even see me can you maybe I'm a bit too far I'm just putting my shoes on tonight I believe by this point you will already have all the info is the big reveal of H&M Raban collaboration which I think is very exciting it's the new H&M collab you guys know they collab with the designers I'm actually going to the grand party okay I got dressed that's why the bathrobe's here next to me I'm putting on the heels now my feet are like currently size like 43 you cannot feel them but that's the trail we are actually going for dinner first which I'm very excited for to eat something and then to silencio for party I know a lot of my friends are going with like different markets like Cara will be there a few people told me they'll be there this is my look and I'm very happy I love it it's H&M studio collection you can get it now in stores it's full winter 23 these kind of like a legging pants and the blazer which is incredible now I have to go because I'm already running late for the dinner because I had so many things to do after the Vuitton show I actually went Chanel shopping for two hours tried the whole shop which you could have seen on my TikTok and probably already on YouTube as well or no you haven't seen it hold on it's coming right after this video so this was a little spoiler but you will see it it's a big Chanel shopping now I've changed up my makeup and I also added a new Hermes lipstick which you could have seen on my TikTok so now we need to go Good morning guys the team's here we're packing and wrapping and finishing Paris Fashion Week the glam's here Paul was here this morning guys I think he did an amazing job look at this you will actually see the same look and the same setup in the next video which is going to be a gigantic haul it's not actually gigantic but it's quite significant so yeah you'll see we're kind of packing we have some stuff to do we're trying to finish everything that we need to take off our to-do list that is kind of like still ongoing so you know we always have to work with whatever we have and kind of trying to find a way also around rain and shine trouble and schedule and situation and I don't understand why it can never be just smooth but it can never be smooth so it is what it is now we have to finish off packing and we have to finish off some other stuff oh we're getting ready for the Mew Mew show today so we need to shoot for Mew Mew but since it's raining that also complicates things a little bit but maybe the rain will stop so let's finish off this prize fashion week guys last show of Paris Fashion Week we're heading to Mew Mew so this is the invitation as you can see I haven't really vlogged much this morning I think at all because we had to pack like three suitcases hand luggage another hand luggage complete so many things I was filming a video for YouTube this morning that you guys know that is going live on Sunday so it's very 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 busy day my invitation is here Mew Mew invitations are always so cool it says Mew Mew Spring Summer 2024 featuring a special project by artist Sofia Almaria what if I told you you aren't the hero in your own own story but the villain in someone else's I think this is really good food for thought love it the invite is on canvas it's a piece of canvas with what looks like an oil paint on it and I am loving it it's so beautiful look at this it just says like the address all of that stuff like uh, my name and I've got this bag now my outfit ladies and gentlemen it's like a beautiful silk organza dress actually two of them it's quite see-through but I have to pray to the gods of street style that it will all stay quite positive the thing with these dresses sometimes you guys will tell me like hey like we can see the tag you should have cut it off but like I actually can't or like I cannot remove like the tag from the bottom of the shoes if it's a sample just because that's kind of contains like a barcode that then they connect the sample to the showroom etc so I completely agree with you guys though but it's out of my hands so that's the look you'll see actually on this occasion there's like a huge tag all over my behind and I'm quite grateful for it because it covers a lot so anyway um, that's that we are gonna shoot the look first take some pictures do a real I've done my TikTok and then we're heading to the show Okay, 
ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to take you to this most iconic Parisian place. I think so, at least we're at Place du Trocadero and like I love it so much because I wanted to finish the Paris Fashion Week vlog here and I'm so happy but I'll be even happier when I'm on that Eurostar train. So here we are, gonna take some pictures of my Miu Miu look, some little bits and bobs. I just wanted to say that the Miu Miu collection was, well Gigi Hadid walked, it was very unexpected, quite sporty, started with a little bit of like Clark Kent vibes going strong into the Superman vibe. So I really loved it. Thank you so much for watching this huge Paris Fashion Week vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which outfit and which look was your favorite. I really think that this season I succeeded into growing into my own style and always choosing the looks that I personally would wear anyway, even if it wasn't Fashion Week. So that's it. I see you in the next one. Bye-bye.